Hello, Captains, and welcome back to my Riemann playthrough on the Romulan faction aligned with the KDF as a tactical officer. So remember in the past how my deciphered Hal Shi'ar files from your ready room was not working in the mission. Um, which mission was it? It was, um, I think it was Mine Enemy. Yeah, mine enemy. So, guess what's working now? That's right, we can now decipher our Tal Shiar files because look, my desk in my ready room of my ship is glowing and glowing is good. Glowing means access library files and finally we can finish that mission from ages ago. Can you believe it? But I'm glad they finally fixed that bug. So, let's do that now this is very convoluted and crazy and weird and everything you could actually read this and like do this like the right way or you can just click a lot of buttons really fast like I'm doing and just hope it works um, if you go through everything eventually you'll hit the right changes to everything if you just keep trying options until it works like that. And actually this one we have to go down here and do this one first. So if you're wondering how I'm doing this, I'm just clicking until it hits green. Because I've forgotten what all the answers are like that. Fly pass key. There we go. Finished at last. Yes, I have been waiting to finish that one forever. Now we can turn in that mission Boba finally. Is justified in his anger. The Tasha records you. Congratulations, yes. Admiral. Done. And I'm actually level 45 now. So 45, just a bunch of things happened. First of all, we got bridge officers awarded to us. So that's what we got here. And we can select a new officer. Uh, let's see if there's anybody worth having here. This is, he's got space abilities, cloaking effect, defense, damage after leaving cloak. You also have subterfuge and you also have subterfuge. So they all have subterfuge. But this one's a Rom Romulan operative. So honestly, that's good a possibly good candidate for something in the future so let's select her I don't need her joined at the moment but yes anyway that's done that's done mission is done we're level 45 now almost 46 after today's mission we will be level 46 I'm glad to have finally finished that mission Okay, so now when we check this, Mine Enemy is now complete. Awesome. And so now we are at the last mission of Freedom called Cutting the Cord. And yes, it is the last mission. This one, Darkness Before the Dawn, is not really a mission. It's just a wrap-up of Cutting the Cord. So I'll actually do both in this video. That way we can finish Freedom. Klingon Intelligence has completed its analysis of the data you recovered in the Nopata system. The Iconians are using the Tal Shiar as a way to influence the Romulan Star Empire. How dare they? Their persecution of the Remans is directly related to this. They will hound the Remans until they are broken, or until they are too suspicious and beaten to ever trust an ally again. This is a coward's way to wage war. Are they too afraid to face us directly? We will stop these machinations now. Then, we will see if these demons are brave enough to show their faces. The data you recovered indicates that Hakiv is operating out of the Brea system. Long-range sensor scans suggest there may be a major Tal Shiar installation there. You know Hakiv better than anyone. I am offering you the chance to face him at last. Warrior to warrior. He must not escape. Accept mission, and let's go to the Berea system. <coughs> <coughs> hmm. 
This one's not too far away, so we'll just wait. Now, I am contemplating getting a new starship at level 50. I'm gonna wait till 50, because this ship is doing great. I really don't need to upgrade. I'm pretty powerful as it is. But, there's always that itch for the next ship, right? So when we get to level 50, I will examine the possibility of getting a new ship at that point. Will be the right time to do it anyway. Will be a good time to do it. Will be a vice admiral at that rank. Just a few more le uh, levels, few more missions to go before we get there. <clears throat> Brea system. I've got to look and see what ships I'm going to go with and stuff. Guys, I kind of want to keep with this whole idea that I'm a tactical character, but I want to fly escorty type ships on this character. I don't want to fly big hunking carriers or cruisers. I want to fly fast maneuvering, tactically inclined ships. And I want to keep to the Romulan theme and fly Romulan ships or Reman ships, whatever. Same we have thing. arrived in the Brea system. Preliminary scans okay, show now I am, defenses and a handful of Romulan ships. I'm a tactical. Most likely tall Shi'ar vessels. If okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All. I'm gonna skip through the menus. Okay, yes. Woo, a lot of stuff going on here. I believe I can hack a satellite thingy or something. That's what I'm gonna do when I find it. Yeah, there it is. Turret targeting. Reprogram a turret. There we go. My friendly turret. Take out these satellites. Oh, look at all those torpedoes. Nice. That was really nice. This has been a great ship. I like this. One of my favorite ships so far on this faction. Whew. Just wish it moved and turned a little faster, but otherwise, not bad. Long range sensors show that. Yeah, I'm beaming down. We have a. <sighs> the fact that I'm a Reman, you think I should be like. More friendly. Well, they should be more friendly to me. But I guess they're Tal Shiar, so. That's the thing. It's been a long time since I've done this mission. See if I can remember how to do it. Get them, boys. I wish I had a way to get all those green crap off me. I don't have a thingy that will. I wonder if that will do it. No. I'm going to try to hit all of the optionals here. I've already done the tactical optional, so I don't have to do that. But there are several more, like hidden things you can do here.
like the orbital strikes are one thing for sure. But there's some hidden accolades in this mission, so I'm gonna make sure I hit them up. There we go, I got that. So on this one, it's if you shoot down the ship that's going to fly over my head in a second, it's a scorpion fighter. If you shoot it down, that's an accolade. So I'm going to try to get that. Here it comes. I need to do enough damage to it that it will blow it up. Come on. Not doing a ton of damage, am I? Oh, come on, did I get it? No, oh, don't please tell me I got it enough. It's dying. It's dying. Is it? Yes, I got it. Okay, grounded. Accolade complete. Got it. Engineering, don't worry about that. I'm not engineering, so that doesn't matter. I wanted to get that accolade. A little uh, hidden accolade there if you're not aware. That that part's fine because we're not doing that. Um, I wonder if this one I can get yet. This one you have to wait till the people spawn. You blow this up and it blows everyone else up and then it's an accolade but I guess I gotta wait for that one. It's after I do the little thing here. Actually, let's go down this way. Okay, plant that one. Scan for Hakiv. Okay, now I can go back and do the other thingy. Pop in yet? Guess I gotta do this first. Now, watch this. Yay, accolade! Shoot, shooting Romulans in a barrel. Now we can go find a way to reach Hakiv, which actually we can go back this way, I think. Yes, and go up here. Oops, no, I don't need that. And then we'll do the last orbital strike. Right here. Take care of them. 
And they are crispy, tasty, toasty. Tasty. No, not tasty. Death from above. Definitely toasty, though. Now let's go get an access chip from a Romulan officer. Call for support. Take out everybody. Everybody taken care of. Oh, where's the officer I need? Over here in the fire, of course. Got it. Defeat Hakeev and his guards. The final, well, not the final battle, but the final ground battle, anyway. Backtrack all the way back to here to go this way. Hi guys. None of this matters. We just need to open the gate. Bring the Iconians here, and it will be over. That was Taurus's plan too. And you saw how that ended for her. We finally have the opportunity. Victory is within our grasp. You call this victory? It's over. This is done. Hi guys. Done. I'm just watching. No! We can still finish! Sila, out. You! You're the cause of all of this! Me? You don't even understand what you've walked into. You're too late to stop it. A lonely being such as yourself cannot even recognize the true power the Iconians represent. Hey, you're a lower being and just like me. And future will depend on a place in their regime. All you've done is arrive in time for the end of existence as is you he, know uh... it telepathically communicating with me because his mouth ain't moving. Fool! I can call as many reinforcements as I need. Not now. My ship has put an interference field around this plaza. It's over. By the way, I forgot to tell you guys, I'm still playing on advanced mode. Where's my mouse? I lost my mouse. Wait a minute. Did my mouse just die? Holy crap. My mouse is dead. My mouse is dead. I gotta plug it in. Hold on one second. Hey, it went to a cutscene. Good. You stopped me. The Iconians already know. They know everything. They'll be here soon. And nothing <clears throat> we've done will make a difference. I can't believe I let my mouse die. It's not <laughs> right in the middle over. of a mission. Luckily, I can plug it in and you still use it. Uh, it should be working now. Hope so. Anyway, uh, he's dead. That was easy. <laughs> I didn't even get to fight much. Like I was trying to say, I'm still in it. Yeah, my mouse is working now. I'm still in advanced mode. Or advanced difficulty, I should say. But this battle just seemed real easy to me. I mean, I know it's easy on normal, but it really seemed equal. Um, equal. Easy. On. Uh, advanced the road difficulty. to It's pretty crazy. Now in here is the science accolade if you're a science officer, but I'm not, so this doesn't do anything to me, for me.
that person got away. One charge, two charge. And of course, that's also an Iconian gateway, a very large one. That we didn't even see coming, and there it was all along. We need to do an orbital bombardment for that one. So, let's go over here and do that. It's funny, they had to move the orbital bombardment uh, over here as an option to do it in the, ver in the very first iteration of this. The um, orbital bombardment was not over here. In fact, it was uh, just wherever, and it would actually kill you. They had to move it over here anyway. That was a long, long time ago. Orbital bombardment. Sila is here with her flagship. I'm trying to hold. Now we've got the big space battle. Yeah, for advanced difficulty, that ground battle was real simple, real easy. I remember it being diff more difficult in the past. I don't know. That was easy, though. Well, let's see what the space battle is like. Any day now would be nice. There we go. We have yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go take them all out. Uh, start with these ships over here. Come here, mo guy. Small crap. I call shenanigans that she got away. Shenanigans, I say. And of course, here come the Iconians to drag her to safety. And there she goes.
Yes, Sela just escaped because somebody left a huge freaking Iconian gate out here. Wonder who that was. Yep, we have to get out of Robinum's space and war in the home world. The Romulan threat may be over for now, but it looks like a bigger threat is on the horizon. You've got that right. That was another really nice Romulan storyline. I like the Romulan storylines. They're actually really cool. Even though we're KDF aligned, we still have plenty of the Romulan Klingon missions. The Klingon Defense Force which I like. will continue the search for Sela's vessel. But as of right now, we have no idea where the Iconians took her, or if she went willingly. I find this turn of events disturbing. Sela's absence will throw the Romulan Star Empire into even greater chaos. And we have found that the Romulans are at their most dangerous when they are wounded. They suffered a grievous wound today. We are not done with them yet. I fear the return of the Iconians could change everything. All right. I really don't need tractor beam mine launchers. I'm not going to use them. Might as well take a career-specific kit reward and see what happens. Congratulations, Admiral. Admiral ability rank three. So we hit 47, actually. We skipped 46, I guess. And uh, we have hit level 47 now, so yeah, we are ranking up fast. But what I got, because I'm, excuse me, because I'm tactical, I've got tactical fleet ability now in uh, space. Tactical fleet, so that should be one of these here. Tactical fleet, team damage and tactical skill buff. Definitely a useful ability. We'll just... Put it right somewhere. That's good. So we will definitely be using that in the future. That'll give me a lot of uh, bonuses there. Plus 20% bonus all damage, for example. Definitely, definitely worth it. Okay, so now we are level 47 and we have finished um, Freedom. Well, almost finished. We need to go do that little darkness before the dawn thing, which I is have been in contact with the really Reeves. just a lot of high council with talk. It's just a lot of dialogue to wrap everything up. We'll go do it real quick. That way we can wrap up this entire uh, story arc before we start the next one. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed that it was so easy on the ground in the space battle under advanced difficulty. I've only ever played this under normal, and that that's pretty easy, but I mean, it, it wasn't as difficult as I was hoping it would be. It wasn't as much of a challenge. I fight but, for my um, people. We will be free. All right, let's just, I'm just gonna go through these really quick Our so base, that I we can will. I have no finish we this. We will be, I do not, we will be, my instinct, we will be free. The petty art, we will be f The petty art, we will be free. I wish him what we will be free. My people are f We will be free. We will be free. Farewell, my friend. We will be f Good. Now it's done. Accolade complete. Freedom. We are done. Captain Obasek transported something for you to the hand of Omega. So I've got something that I can go look at. It's a trophy, a floor trophy uh, in my ship, but it's really not that impressive. All right. That is now completely done. We have now completely, completely finished Freedom. And yeah, this has been a lot of good Romulan missions. So we had From the Ashes, Allies, In Shadows, Wasteland, which wasn't Romulan. Well, it had some Romulan stuff. Vengeance and Freedom. This has been a good series of Romulan missions, but we're about to get into the missions now that are shared between all the factions. For example, Spectres. Is shared between all the factions, so there's nothing new or unique about it. Uh, the Cardassian missions, and then yesterday's war, the Breen, the Borg, uh, New Romulus, even though it's Romulan based, it's all shared between all the factions. Everything else, the uh, Solanae, the Delta Quadrant, Iconian, blah, 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 all the way to the Gamma Quadrant, I guess. 
um, is all shared. So these missions we're about to do, I have played a million, trillion, billion times in the past. So um, that said, if you want to watch really thorough playthroughs of these upcoming missions, you are free to go watch uh, some of my other playthroughs where I have really gone through the dialogues and taken my time with each mission. But because I've played these next missions just so many times, I'm actually going to shoot through these at a pretty accelerated pace. And by that I mean I'm not going to go through all the dialogue as intently, or even at all maybe. However, that said, I will be looking for anything that's different, considering I am a Reman, and I am playing as the Klingon faction, as a KDF-aligned Reman. I will be looking for those differences, but I'm not expecting large differences. Um, also, I am playing on Advanced, so yes, that's a new experience for me anyway, is just playing the battles on Advanced. And I can gauge and see how difficult that feels compared to the normal versions that I've played in the past. So all that's going to be unique and different for me, and I'm going to look for differences in all that stuff. But for the actual, you know, missions, I'm probably just going to get in and play them and not waste your time or my time. Because... I need to get through all of them and there's a lot to get through uh, there's a lot so and I want to get through all of them so um, on this character I want to play every single mission and I want to level this character to max level and um, you know uh, really take it some take this character somewhere and you know experiment with tier 6 ships that's really the goal here is escorty Romulan tier 6 ships I want to get to that kind of stuff and start experimenting and doing reviews on those kind of ships in the future so there's a lot to do here and so to get through it all without taking like a whole year I'm gonna try to play these missions at a more accelerated pace just letting you know uh, ahead of time that that's gonna happen for all the missions moving forward and I'll say that again in the next video just to remind everyone but uh, that's that's kind of the deal there I took my time with all of these missions here the unique Romulan missions so we got to see the bulk of what makes this faction unique. Everything else is just not unique, unfortunately. So that's all the unique stuff there is. And that's why a lot of people call this a mini faction or a half faction, because everything else is shared between all the other factions. And all the unique stuff was just right here. In fact, even freedom is, was shared. So really, and the wasteland is shared. Really, the only unique stuff was from the ashes, uh, allies, in shadows and vengeance those were the unique ones everything else wasteland and freedom are also shared between both all the factions so as you can see there's just not a lot of quote unique missions that are just unique to the faction only and that's why people call it a half faction which i also um uh, believe it to be that as well because everything else is shared you can go on a Starfleet character and all the ones I'm about to play, you can go play them there too. You can go to um, any faction and play these missions that are about to be played. So anyway, here that's neither here nor there. I'm just letting you know that's what I'm going to do moving forward. But I will spend time on videos where um, I do upgrades, for example. Uh, you know, when I hit 50, for example, and upgrade to a new ship, I will spend a lot of time going over the build on my ship and showing it to you in combat so you are aware of what changes I make and um, how new ships perform in combat. So as I upgrade and do new things like that, I will spend a lot of time on that stuff. Because definitely we want to see this character evolve and see, you know, get into tier 6 ship stuff, which will be a lot of fun. Well, that's all I got for now in the next uh, episode. We will play, we'll start Spectres, and we'll play, and we'll start with Spectres, which actually is all, which is actually Skirmish. I think this is just one of those get-to-a-place missions, and then Skirmish is actually the first one. Anyway, we'll do it in the next video. Thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.